Okay. We have a friend of the show mm -hmm. who has deigned to come back with us. He is, by the way, an award-winning winemaker, and his name is Charles Smith, owner and creator of Wines of Substance and Charles Smith Wines, which happen to be a very big deal despite the man's hair. Ain't that true? <laughs> it's true. <laughs> so my hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that all I'm not gonna, do you remember when somebody pulled Donald Trump's hair to see if it was real? <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Uh, why are you in New York? Uh, it's a New York wine experience put on by Wine Spectator magazine. And this year, I was fortunate. To be, my name, my two of my wines were in the well, number two and number thirteen wine of the year. This worldwide. is number two. Yeah, the K, K Vintner Syrah from Powerline Vineyard was named number two best wine of the year. Best wine overall of the world. Yeah. Reds and whites, the whole Everything. ball of wax. Throw it all together. Exactly. Number two in the world. Did Correct. You say? By Wine Spectator. Oof. You got it. How much does that cost per bottle? Uh, Forty-five dollars. I only make about four hundred cases, about five thousand bottles. You make five thousand bottles, selling at forty dollars a go. bottle, and yeah, two hundred thousand yeah. dollars gross revenues, of yeah. which you get maybe ten bucks, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm a bit doing more all right. Than that. Okay. Yeah. The number thirteen <laughs> on the world list. Yes, yeah, this is six toe. This is uncovered Chardonnay. So, uh, you know, the interesting thing is. You know, I'm, I'm a, I have six different projects. One's Rhone-centric, Syrah, uh, Burgundy-centric, which is Chardonnay. I also have my Wines of Substance, which is a uh, Cabernet Sauvignon, which happens to be the fastest-growing Cabernet Sauvignon in the country right now, in the uh, 12 to $12 to $20 range. And then, of course, I have my Charles and Charles Rosé and my Italian project, oh. Vino Castlesmith, and I mean, so on. How many so commercials was... do you want on this program? <laughs> That's you know, why I'm here. You know, you know why you're here? Because we're friends. <laughs> oh, get out of yeah. here. Because you're a character, you're entertaining, and you rate. And number two, you always <laughs> leave samples. Well, fantastic. I mean, I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a giver. I'm a giver. <laughs> but you are one of the very few people who's turned a love of the wine industry mm -hmm. into a very, very successful and very profitable business. I've been very fortunate. The idea is, you know, to be honest and with integrity and do the mm -hmm. best work, get up early. Go to bed late and make sure you're present the entire time you're doing it. Um, your Jet City Winery, mm -hmm. that's one of the top ten urban wineries in America? It's actually the largest urban winery in the U.S. Largest? Yeah, it's called Charles Smith Wines Jet City, and it's in, it's in Seattle, actually, hmm. uh, on the north end of Boeing Field, you know, where they make the Boeing aircraft. <laughs> the odd thing is, I'm really afraid of flying. I have my winery's at the end of a runway, and I renamed my winery Jet City. <laughs> it's a little ironic. <laughs> I guess how you're supposed to overcome your fears, right? <laughs> uh, what do you think of legal marijuana? Because that might be a real challenge to wine drinkers, beer drinkers. I think, I, think, I mean, there's, of course, there's that discussion. But in reality, I mean, how much marijuana can you really smoke? And how much is it really going to cost? I mean, you know, one cigarette, if you will, is going to cost about $5. And you're not going to smoke the whole thing. So if you if you have one dollar worth of consumption, that's not going to change the fact that you're going to drink wine. A lot of people don't drink wine or even beverages because to get intoxicated. They do it because it's social. Yeah, they like the true. flavor. Right. That's true. That's how we socialize. People don't go to a bar and pass around a joint to socialize. Yeah. They do it to get high. Right. Yep. We drink wine. And we drink beer a lot of times just yeah. to socialize and it's refreshing. Beer sales are down. Are wine sales up across the board? As far as I'm, I know, yes, the wine sales are up. And mine, are, mine, are, mine are incredible. I'm very fortunate that people like my wine. That's your commercial voice. But it's true. I mean, I'm, well, I'm very fortunate. I'm a very thankful guy for yeah. being, being able to do this with my life's work. And I'm thankful for being, being able Living to be here with you today. What a guy I am. <laughs> but it's true. Well, you, I, well, you realized we were supposed to be here yesterday, and we, we couldn't make it. But why not? Why wouldn't I not be thankful? Aww. Right? I yes. agree. Absolutely. He's living the dream. He's all right, this living guy. Living the dream. Leave those <laughs> bottles there. I'll see you next time, Charles. Thank you so much. Nice to see you. Good luck to you. Thanks a lot. Bye -bye.